Yeah, nice night to cut the grass. Let's go for it. Right guys, lawn tractor. Good tyre. Bad tyre. Obviously you've got a puncture in this tyre, so in this video I am going to show you how to remove the wheel, find the puncture, find the hole and hopefully patch it and get it working as good as new. Right guys, in order to get the wheel off of the tractor, the first thing you need to do is obviously jack the tractor up somehow. This is the way I do, I usually um, just tilt it on its side because it's fairly light. Uh, this is just a mount field tractor. Push it up on its side, rest it against something in the back there and you know, just put a couple of steadies underneath. Um, that way we can get this wheel off. Okay, so on most lawn tractors, uh, you just have a plastic cap over the hub here. So simply first, first course of action is pull that off. Should just prise off like that. Okay, so in this case, uh, all we have here is the, here's the axle, here's a, like a retaining clip and a washer. So all we need to do is just force this clip out. So we're using something like a, a small screwdriver like this. We just lever that in and push it out. And don't lose it like I just have there. <laughs> Once you do that, take the washer off and the wheel can then be wiggled off, hopefully. Yeah, you may find that yours yours may have a retaining nut, you know, just a normal nut on there, or it may have a split pin, whereas you would just have to, you know, remove the split pin. Similar situation, um, and just get the wheel off. Okay, so it should just be a simple case of sort of jiggling the wheel off, so... Just... Here we go. Okay, so obviously the first thing you need to do is uh, pump the tyre up. So you can either use a compressor or, in this case, I'm just using my, my bicycle pump here. It's perfectly adequate for a, a tractor tyre, so pump it up. Okay, so obviously get it up to a substantial pressure to where the air will come out the, the hole. There's obviously a hole in this tyre somewhere. So we'll get it up to pressure and that will allow us to move to the next stage. Okay, so what we want to do now is we need to get some sort of solution, a uh, soapy solution. So all I've got here is an old, just an old spray, you know, for a flash or any like household sort of sprays that you get. Or you can buy one, you know, a pound each or whatever. Um, put a little bit of water in it and quite a lot of uh, fairy liquid or, you know, any sort of detergent. And what we want to do is just spray it all over the tyre and just to see where we can see the leak. So it's basically a homemade leak detector. Um, we'll spray it all over the tyre and then hopefully you'll see the air bubbles come out and then that, that way we'll be able to find the leak. So just, you know, don't hang about, just spray a lot, a lot of this on. Keep spinning the tyre. So, you should soon see the leak, you know, with this, he says. <laughs> See it there. The camera's picking that up. See the bubbles there. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a, you know, obvious uh, escape of air and then the tire. You can see that. Yeah, you see it there. Okay, so again, just spray it quickly. See the big bubble here, but we'll check again. See it coming out there. So we know that's the area. So I'm keeping my eye on it. What I'm gonna do is dry this off and then mark it with a marker. I was marked, I could see the hole, so I've just marked a couple of white marks. Um, yeah, see the hole there at the tip of my finger. Yeah, so here's the toolkit here, the repair kit. Uh, we've basically got a drill type tool here, which 
you just pierce through the hole and just give it a rub and that cleans the area. We've got a tool here where we thread through the actual plugs. These are the plugs. They're effectively just rubber strips yeah, with some sort of gooey liquid in the, in the side. I don't know if it's rubber or string or something. Yeah, but effectively they thread through this tool, you force it through the tyre and then pull this out and it leaves the, the plug and then you trim it off. Um, that's, that's effectively it. I'll show you how we do that now. Okay, so what you want to do, firstly you want to get this drill tool. Um, obviously we've established where the hole is. So what we want to do is just stab this drill through the hole and just, you know, pull it in and out just to sort of file the area and clean the area. So There may be some air comes out when we do this, but... So we just... That's it. Get it in, twist it, and pull it out quickly. And again, pull it out and just repeat this process, you know, five or six times till you've got a nice clear hole. So hopefully you can get a close up. Here's the handle, here's the tool. Right in there, you can see it, let's take it out slowly. Here we go. Again. So we're effectively filing the hole. Okay, so what we want to do now is remove one of these strips from this packaging. Uh, so we'll just pull this out. Uh, like so. And what we need to do is just thread this through this eyelet here. If you see this eyelet. What we we'll do is thread this through. Quite difficult because it's quite tacky and it's quite rubbery, so it's fairly stiff. So it's going through now. Let's get it roughly halfway. Okay, so how this works is the top edge of the eye, it's obviously sealed, so that allows you to force down into the tyre. But the top edge of the eyelet, if you can see, is not joined. So once you get that plug into the tyre and pull forcefully back, you know, on the tool like that, this obviously opens up and you can release the tool but leaves the plug in the tyre. Um, I will demonstrate that and then that's effectively it. We'll trim the plug, pump the tyre up, check for leaks and that should be us. But I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to, this is just the drill, yeah, just marking where the hole is. So we're going to take this out. And we're going to place this in uh, just a short distance and then yank it out quickly, as I'll show you now. So take this out, find the hole with this, push it in, there we go, if you can see that it's probably, I don't know, halfway in. And then what we need to do is just yank this out forcefully and quickly. Like that. What that leaves you with is you can see the plug stuck in the hole. You can still see it marked. I had it marked. Uh, so what we need to do now is just trim these below the the level of the tread uh, with a craft knife, and we'll blow the tire up again. Spray it with uh, solution and just make sure the leak's gone. Okay, so we've just got one of these craft knives. What we'll do now is just trim these off. Hopefully when you're doing this, these knives are razor sharp so don't uh, slash the tyre again and we'll be back to square one. But all I'm doing here is just, I've got it just below the tread, hold on to one end of the, the plug and just gently That's it, just gently cut that off. Just pumped it up, uh, we'll just spray some solution on now. You can see it's totally sealed. Just totally soak it. See the plug there. So that's it, puncture fixed. We'll get this up to pressure and we'll get the wheel back on the lawnmower. Right, good idea. I'll wear the wheels off, just might as well just give it a grease. Just... So it's a smidgen of grease over there. Doesn't matter if you don't have any of it. I'm just doing it because the wheel's off. And then just simply fit the wheel back on. 
Okay, so obviously once you get the wheel back on, wash it on. Circ clip, push that in the groove. Use a pair of water pump pliers to squeeze this on. So. That's it, really quick. And hub cap back on. Dust cap, yeah, that's us, that's it done. Right guys, that's it, fixed, perfect. Uh, if they, you liked the video in any way, please give it a thumbs up. I'll leave links in, all, in the description to all the, the tools used, especially the repair kit. Um, anybody new here that likes these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel by hitting subscribe there. Uh, any comments, please leave in the comments, guys. I always answer comments, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Thank you.